Hi, I'm Hedge Black and today I'm going to be talking about saving electricity. There are many reasons why someone might want to save electricity, be it saving money on your bills, saving the environment, or saving in a trip downstairs to reset the fuse box. But what is what? Well, the watt is a unit of power which is the voltage times the current in a circuit. So the wattage of a device is a measure of how much voltage and current that device requires to run or perform its function. We usually measure our energy consumption in kilowatts per hour, where the K stands for kilo, the prefix for 1000, the W for watts, and the H for hour. So if you have 1 kilowatt per hour, you have 1000 watts per hour. These are the electrical devices I use in a given day alongside how much I use them in a 24 hour period. So by doing some math, I've shown that I take up about 5.426 a kilowatts a day during the quarantine. And since I live in North Yorkshire, where the average price of electricity is 14p per kilowatt, that means that I'm costing about 76p a day right now. By doing this for yourself, you'll be able to get more perspective on how you use your electricity. Something you may have noticed is that in this example, the cost of heating is significantly more than the cost of an appliance. In fact, if I showered for an hour, it would be equivalent to 44.6 hours of computing. This is because it takes a lot of power to heat the roughly 50 litres of water that I use in my 5 minute shower. Or for example, by simply decreasing my thermostat by 1 degree on cold days, I can reduce my yearly bill by 60 to 80 pounds. So if you wanted to minimise your electronic footprint, you should probably consider the things you heat first, like for example your kettle, washing machine, central heating, heaters, or bath and shower. Another way to reduce your spending is preventing vampire drain which refers to when devices are plugged in and are on standby mode for long periods of time, or devices that just have a really high passive wattage. In these cases, you should turn off your electronics at the outlet when you're not using them. By just doing those things, you can save up to £50 a year. However, there are some devices which you do not need to disconnect, because they leach so little from you that it's easier to just leave them in. These are things like phone chargers, which only draw 0.3 watts when not charging a phone. Another good way to save money in the long run is to buy more efficient or lower wattage devices. These will accomplish the same task for less wattage and hence less money. This can be a very good thing for devices you use continuously, like fridges and freezers, as they quickly add up, although it can be the case that the added efficiency is not worth the initial price, so be careful. So in conclusion, if you want to save money on your gas and electric bills, make sure to turn off any worthless electronics you have running in the background as this will prevent you spending unnecessary power, and try to minimize the amount of heating you do in your house. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, leave a like and a comment.